that's a little far. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the products that I have hit pan on recently and I'll just tell you about them, what I like about them, um, if there's something I don't like about them, and yeah, just kind of show you the things I've loved so much that I've hit, been hitting pan in them. Before we start, my tea of the day is a vanilla almond black tea um, from the Tea Republic, and my candle of the day is vanilla marshmallow from Bloom and Prosper. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, the first thing in my items I've hit pan on is my Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer in the shade The Daydream. Um, it's a very, very pretty, like, I, it, like what the name implies. It's a luminizer, so it's not really a highlight, but it is sparkly. It looks very, very pink. It doesn't actually come off very pink on the skin. Um, if you build it up, you get kind of a pinky glow. But it's mainly, like, when I just did it with my finger, it looks pinky. But when you actually put it on your skin, it doesn't really look pinky with a brush. Um, but it's a really nice diffused um, highlight throughout your face. And so usually I'll do, like, my cheeks with a really intense highlight, and then everywhere else I will use this, which is why I have such massive pan on it. Um, I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, but at the same time, I'm excited that it is very soon going to be moved out of my collection. Um... The next thing is this tiny little, I don't even know if this counts as pan, but this tiny little concealer sample from Elite Cosmetics. Um, I got two, and this is my second one. I finished the first one completely, and then I started working on this one. Um, and I have Hip Pan. Um, it is a cream product, so I'm just using, but I'm using a brush on it. So I did Hip Pan naturally. It's not like I moved everything to one side. Um, this is not my right color, so I usually wear this when I'm not wearing any foundation, or I wear it, like, under my foundation. Um... But it's really, really pretty. It's a really nice concealer. I think it conceals really well. Um, but it's definitely not in my color. It's too pale for me here. I can swatch it. Oh, thank you very much. It's, um, but yeah, it's definitely just not in my color. It's just too pale for me, as you can probably tell. So I've also been using it a lot for um, eye looks, like if I need to cut my crease to add in a color, I'll try to use this. Um, even before when I was using the other one, I was also trying to use this just because that one was closer to my color. Um, but neither were actually my color, and so I don't think I will be purchasing a concealer from LA well, like Cosmetics, which is disappointing. Um, the next two pans are in my Pan That Palette that's of this year. It's my Naked Urban Decay. And I have a Jaya Pan in Hotspot, which I use as an overall eyelid primer um, setter. And hot spot, which I, or caution, which I usually use on my lid, um, so everything blends out better, especially when I'm doing like basically an all glimmer look. I want everything to blend easier, and I think that using hot spot works. I mean, caution works. I have significant pan and hot spot. I have a little bit of pan and caution. Um, once hot spot is completely finished, I'm gonna start using caution as like my all over eyelid setter, cause. Hotspot is definitely like bone colored, but Caution is almost my skin tone, so it's not too much. I, what I kind of like doing with Caution is almost like mapping out where I'm going to put the color. So if I'm going to do a wing that day, I'll map out Caution with like the, my entire wing. So it's almost like I know where to put my makeup. I'm almost stenciling it out, which is why I have less used, but I still have a good amount used. The next product is the Body Shop's Body Butter in the Scent coconut um it smells amazing it smells like tropical it smells kind of like sun bum so, um sunscreen which is the best smelling sunscreen um but yes i have hip pan again it's a cream but i've been like like there's like a dip so it's not like i've been only going in that one area um but it's definitely thicker it's a body butter as opposed to like a lotion and so i really like this like after I take a bath or like only on like my feet or like my elbows or like really dry areas So it's taking me a little bit longer to finish than a normal lotion But I've been really enjoying it um, since I've been home This is something that I left here and so I'm finishing it up right now before I bring the stuff that I left at school home Because I do have a couple lotions at school that I need to finish So it'd be nice if I could clear out basically all the stuff I have here and then bring all that stuff back So yeah the final thing, anything that I'm so, so close to finishing, and I've had for, I think, 
three years in my collection, you will ha hardly be able to see the powder at all, but there is some around the edges, and that's what I'm getting right now. Luckily, I actually just stopped using... My technique used to be for putting powder on my face to do, like, the big brush, like, this brush, and, like, swirl it around and then put it, like, all over my face, but I found that that looks, like, very cakey, and I've stopped wanting to look so, like, matte, and I want to look more glowy, and so now I use a smaller brush, like this guy, and I go in, and then I put, like, my under eyes, or my chin, or my nose, anywhere where I'm, like, I want this to stay for longer. Um, which has worked out because it means that I haven't had to repress this because I would obviously not be getting enough on a fluffy brush. Um, and I just don't honestly think there'd be very much to repress and I think if I repressed it I'd end up breaking it and that'd make me sad because I really want to finish this. Not break it. But yeah, I foresee this taking me less than a month and I will be done with this. But it's definitely something that I really, really, really want to finish. Um, it's the Ulta Beauty Finishing Powder. I never said that. Um, in light to medium. Um, like I've said, I've had it for a few years, two or three years. Um, it, it had a lot of product. It was really, really good. Um, this is the older formula and the older packaging. I don't know what the newer one is like, but I really did like this one, and I'm glad that I'm going to finish it up. Um, it's definitely a cheap, nice finishing powder. It's supposed to be a matte finishing powder, um, but I mean, I use like a glowy um setting spray and I also use highlight with my foundation and so I tend to be and I use the luminizer in a lot of areas so with even with this being matte I still tend to be quite glowy which is what I want so it's not that big of a deal and when I finish this I will be bringing into my collection or start using in my collection this Pacifica ma neutral mineral mattifier so I'm really really excited to finish this and start using a newer one that's not three year, two or three years old. I'm trying to think about when I got this, and I know I got it with my grandmother, and I know I was in high school, so, it, and I want to say I was a sophomore in high school, which I mean it's basically four years old, almost. I think that's what it is. I think it's like three to four years old. I don't know, but yes, it's almost done, and I'm really really excited about it. Um, so yes. Those are the items that I currently have pan in. Um, leave a thumbs up down below if you want to see another one of these when I get a few more pans. I definitely have some eyeshadow pans coming up really soon. And I'm excited about those. Um, partly because of panning projects and partly just because of using my eyeshadow more. Um, and also I'm obviously trying to pan this entire palette. So like hopefully I will have at least 10 more pans sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, comment down below um, something you've panned recently. Um, what's your favorite thing that I've panned? Or you're like, wow, I can't believe you panned that. Because like, this was like a lot. Like, I've used so much of this product. But at the same time, it's like you put this all over your face. Or I did for so long that it's like, of course you have panned in this. And I put this all over my face. So it's like not surprising. So none of my pans are like super surprising. I don't have like a super exciting pan, like a blush pan. But I am still really proud of using up my products and getting them out of my collection. Well, obviously... Just Wing Pan isn't getting them out, but it's on the way to using them up. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting. So yeah, leave a comment down below what's something you've panned recently, what's your favorite thing that I panned, and other than that, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you next time. Bye! Weren't you too scared to spell?